Uh, ref. Can't get them all. All right, here at the Bruins tonight. Got my gear here too. Windy X Mark II with the 7200. It's basically what I'm going to use the entire time. I have a fisheye here on a R5. Doesn't really get much, especially now. Do that slider right there. When people get close, so you can't stick that through anymore. Time for me to warm up as well. Make sure all my settings are right, good sharpness, everything's working correctly. Do a few quick edits just so that way I can copy and paste them onto the actual game images. So just make sure everything's working well before the game starts. Let's get this game going. First thing you might notice, not the most comfortable ones, but I prefer shooting down here versus up in the stands or above most of the time. It's any time that I, you know, stop it or I'm gonna see what images I got, tag them so I can send these images out during the game. Typically, if it's a goal, I might try to do it during the period. Otherwise, just between period. All right, so I'm lucky enough to be shooting at a professional arena, professional lights. You got a nice white surface underneath so the light bounces back up. Pretty good lighting, shooting at one two thousandth of a second, F4 and 3200 ISO. Here come the players, got a shot. My other camera, nothing. All right, the fast action. Right, so we just had a goal. Uh, the guy like flipped it up from behind the net. Off the goal, he's back into the goal, pretty crazy. Not the best thing to get photos of. And then he also got hit in the face, so he didn't even have a great reaction. And I always like to keep this second body, just keep clicking this, keep it warm. So it's ready to go if something happens. When I first started shooting hockey, I was like, I'm not even sure what a good image is. And then uh, to see, I would just look at other people's galleries. Uh, I think it's a great way to just kind of learn what are good photos, what are people, other people putting up there. Just go to Getty, go to USA Today, and just look up hockey photos, look up soccer photos, football, you know, see what they're posting and then you can know what to look for, know what you're trying to get. Honestly, don't feel like I have too much good stuff yet, but oh, whatever, we'll see what happens. All right, so I may not have a great shot of the actual goal that was earlier, but now I know, oh, number 58 had the goal. Let me make sure I get a photo of him. Oh, uh, ref, damn. All right, I'll tag these just so I can show you guys the sequence, but that's what happens sometimes. You just uh, gotta deal with it. Snack time. Cool, so that's good, so I'm gonna download this real quick. And I use the harness, honestly, you know, I have the second body, I just don't want him to fall on the ground. It's really the only reason I have the harness on right now. All right, so I can just stick this in here, ingest, and boom, all those tag photos are now on my computer. And I still have my camera here just in case anything good happens. All right, they decided to clean the ice again, so back to potentially trying to get a quick edit. All right, those fighting photos are awesome. Uh, sometimes you get the right vantage point and it just works out because on the, if you're on the other side, that goalie was in the way, you don't get their faces. And I might be the only one on this side, so sweet. Good thing I got it. <laughs> Between periods, got 21 photos up. And go, no, block, 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 block. Can't get them all. I hope you guys are enjoying the back of my head. Camera was off. <laughs> oh, I kind of like, oh, oh, there we go. I love that all four players just all lined up. Let's go. All right, make sure they're on, unlike last period. So sometimes at the beginning of third period, I like to take advantage of the custom mode. That custom button right here, boom. Just click it and it goes back and forth between the two settings. One fifteenth of a second, one two thousandth of a second. And we can do a little slow shutter. Not the best angle for slow shutter because you want them kind of panning across. And if they're doing that, they're right in front of the goal and you don't want to miss that shot. So I'm not going to do it too often. And especially because it's just a one goal game, I'm not going to go too crazy on getting something cool. Yeah, all right. Try some swirls or zoom slow shutters. So basically, I'm probably going to try the slow shutter more when Montreal's going down the ice because I'm not likely to miss anything important happening there. Switch the bow. So 2,000 for the second. Oh! 
<laughs> that one almost got me. So sometimes if I can't really reach the shooter over here, I'll switch to the goal and just try to get the save. You always got to take what's given to you. You get blocked all the time, sometimes you're in the exact right spot. All right, Bruins win 4-2. Just doing my final edits right here. And I'm going to get these photos up, pack up, and head out. Bye.